board. Uh, I would like to open the meeting by reviewing the previous minutes. Ask for a motion. Mr. Chairman, if there is no discussion, I move that the minutes be accepted as presented. So moved, seconded. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? That's unanimous. Mr. Chairman, I request yes. that I be permitted to leave the meeting to attend a business responsibility. Absolutely, Mr. Griffin. And thank you for coming uh, so that we could have a quorum to initiate the meeting and uh, stay with the agenda for tonight. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you. All right, let me just identify the correspondence uh, that we've received. Memorandum from the town manager, re sewer amendments, a letter from the town attorney, re ordinance amendments, Cape Elizabeth School Building Committee description, a grant application regarding the Fort Williams playground, crew subdivision easement referral, planning commissioner's journal, summer 2003. Uh, get Wired article from Planning Magazine, July 2003, and a letter from the town manager regarding Robinson Woods parking lot. Uh, I will go through what the agenda will be this evening on the consent agenda. First item is the Goldcrest field sign plan, site plan amendment. Second item on the consent agenda is Riverview subdivision de minimis change extension under other business. We will open a public hearing in connection with miscellaneous amendments to the sewer subdivision road and zoning ordinances and zoning map amendment change. Uh, we will then open a public hearing regarding the draft Fort Williams master plan. Uh, so the first order of business is Tallcrest Field Sign Site Plan Amendment. Um, this is, I'd remind the board that this has been presented as a consent agenda item. Uh, if anyone on the board would like to conduct a substantial discussion, uh, we can move the project to the regular agenda. Otherwise, uh, a motion to approve the item uh, would be appropriate. I'm, I'm not sure there's any need for any discussion on this issue. All right. Okay. Do we have a motion, then? Mr. Chairman, I have a motion for the board to consider. All right. Be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of the town of Cape Elizabeth for an amendment to the previously granted Gulf Crest facility site plan located off Denison Drive to install a scoreboard at the southern corner of the southern field be approved. Second. It's moved and seconded. All in favor? All right. Thank you. Next item on the consent agenda is Riverview subdivision de minimis change extension. Um, this is a request that the Riverview subdivision amendment granted by the planning board and may be extended for 90 days. Uh, and again, if there is anyone on the board that would like substantial discussion of this item, we have to make a motion in that regard. Otherwise, it will be in order for a vote. Okay, hearing no request for further discussion, do we have a motion? Certainly, Mr. Chairman, I have a motion for the board to consider. Be it ordered that, based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of Robert Shadel for an ID-day extension of the Planning Board approval of the Riverview subdivision amendment to adjust the lot line boundary between the lots located at 1 and 3 Wainwright Drive be approved. 
Second. All in favor? And that is approved. The next issue is a uh, the text amendments which are a collection of miscellaneous amendments to the zoning ordinance um, and this is scheduled for a public hearing uh, we received input regarding these various amendments uh, that are technical in nature but the idea being that they are easier to use and apply uh, and they cover numerous issues including uh, zoning changes zoning ordinance changes there's also text changes to the affordable housing uh, requirements uh, and we also received feedback from the zoning board um, these amendments <coughs> in the summary have been posted on the website uh, so to go through a long summary I don't think is necessary at this time so I will open the public hearing public hearing is now open if there's anyone that would like to speak on the these are the text amendments this is not the Fort Williams master plan public hearing it also includes the zone change, the map to the map change to the zoning map for the town center district. Right. Do you want to summarize that change? Just so sure. I didn't, I didn't we, mention that. In, in, in reviewing the town center um, zoning district and the zoning map, we discovered that a property had inadvertently been included in the town center district that was never included as part of the. Uh, the original master plan and we believe it was included in error we've contacted the property owner and this is on Shore Road they never knew they were in the town center district and would like to leave it as soon as possible and return to the residential district so um, all right so is there anyone here that wishes to speak on any of these amendments Okay, seeing none, then the public hearing is closed. Um, let me just say that the board has considered these uh, individually. We've been through each proposed change and discussed each proposed change separately. We've uh, debated and, and changed and thoroughly uh, reviewed all of the proposed changes and I think it's safe to say even though not all the members of the board are here we have received everyone's input on the planning board to these changes and the changes and the amendments that are now proposed uh, are supported by the board as a whole I believe um, so I believe that it's in order for a motion uh, tonight really was more for the public hearing uh, and so I think we can consider this the, the other thing that I just wanted to mention in, in addition to your comments uh, was that we we did get input from the Public Works Department as well and the uh, fire department which we really appreciated in, in reviewing these uh, changes to the, that's right the zoning ordinance that's right. That, that's a good point. We appreciate their time in, in uh, doing that. Certainly made things clearer for us. Mr. Chairman, if there is no further discussion, I have a motion for the board to consider. All right. Be it ordered that based on the materials and facts presented, the draft miscellaneous amendments to the sewer, subdivision, road, and zoning ordinance be recommended to the town council for adoption. We have a second. Second. All in favor? Uh, oh. Just for an item of discussion, I, maybe I should have done that before I seconded the motion. 
my understanding is too that we we ought to insert that there's also a change to the town center district map uh, is that correct maureen yeah if you could just add into that motion that i drafted not just a draft miscellaneous amendments to those ordinances and official zoning map all right i agree to the amendment if it should read and the official zoning map i'll second the motion as amended okay all in favor Okay, so that will be recommended to the town council. All right, uh, the next issue involves the draft Fort Williams master plan which there's been a significant amount of discussion on this was forwarded to the planning board by the town council for our review uh, and we are being asked to make a recommendation and as part of that process uh, we are holding a public hearing which has been noticed for this evening uh, again, the text of the master plan and the proposed amendments have been posted on the website. I believe there's been significant discussion. Uh, and uh, I know that we have discussed it at length uh, as, uh, as a board. Um, Maureen, do you want to do a... It's hard to summarize. There are a lot of revisions, but maybe you can yes. give us and a thumbnail summary and I would like to point out that on the podium tonight is a letter from the Guthrie's regarding this particular issue um, oh thank they, you I didn't I, maybe I should identify that I guess this was provided this evening so it wasn't on the list it's a letter from Bud and Marion Guthrie of 108 Delano Park regarding the master plan The um, item, the Fort Williams Master Plan, uh, the ordinance states that uh, the Fort Williams District is a little different from the other zoning districts in that it doesn't have a specific list of permitted uses and prohibited uses. It in in instead says that if there is a master plan of Fort Williams uh, reviewed by the planning board with a public hearing and adopted by the town council, that, that master plan has the weight of a zoning ordinance. And so what you have in front of you is a draft master plan uh, for 2003, and there have been two amendments proposed by the planning board. Uh, the first one explicitly calls out that there's an area in the Southwest Preserve that is currently used for maintenance and will continue to be needed by Public Works to be used for maintenance. Uh, the second amendment is adding language that explicitly uh, reserves the Southwest Preserve as an area for informal non-intensive recreation and the reason that's been recommended is because there is currently in the ordinance the southern subdistrict, which talks about a portion of the south talks about all of the southwest preserve and two other portions um, and says that those areas uh, are regulated by the zoning ordinance and not by a master plan and by the, the vote you just took you've agreed to delete that southern section by a, by recommending this master plan you would be substituting the entire master plan for as the as the permitted uses regulatory document for Fort Williams Park questions okay. all right at this time I'd like to open the public hearing on the uh, Fort, Fort Williams master plan draft revisions uh, I would ask anyone that wishes to speak to, to state their name and address, and we'd be happy to hear you. Okay. Public hearing's closed. Um, <coughs> again, let me say that we have reviewed this uh, extensively. We've held workshops. Uh, we've all had time to review and consider all of the uh, proposals and the proposed master plan. We've received comments from many different areas. 
And again, I think it's safe to say that uh, the master plan, as it is now stated, uh, is uh, certainly acceptable uh, to uh, the board as a whole, not all of whom are here this evening. Uh, and I guess I would further say that I think the board was uh, impressed with uh, the master plan and its balance in terms of trying to keep uh, the uh, appropriate uses of, of the park and keeping in mind its uh, uh, special nature and also keeping in mind the fact that it is near uh, residential area. So uh, based on that, is there any further discussion of the draft master plan? Do we have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I have a motion for the board to consider. Be it ordered that based on the materials and the facts presented, the draft Fort Williams master plan be recommended to the town council for adoption. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to second that motion. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor? All right, and that will be... Mr. Chairman, in conclusion, I'd also like to thank the Fort Williams Commission, all the various committee help they had, and the town staff for putting together a master plan such as this one. I agree. I think everyone uh, did an excellent job on this. And our job was the easiest. We just had to review it, and, and I think it's uh, an excellent plan. Uh, Maureen, unless I'm missing something, I think that's the agenda. All right. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion we adjourn. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? We're adjourned.